you probably already know that when we eat food and swallow it, it goes into our stomachs. The stomach plays a really important role in the digestion of our food. It contains hydrochloric acid and other chemicals that begin the process of breaking down the proteins that we eat, in meat for example, into smaller units called amino acids, which then enter the bloodstream later on through the walls of the small intestine. If I place some small pieces of meat and potato into two beakers that contain hydrochloric acid and then come back a day later, we can see that the acid has broken down the meat and it's turned into a sludgy mess. Digestion of meat in the stomach takes only about four hours because the stomach doesn't just contain acid, it also contains chemicals called enzymes. Enzymes speed up the process of digestion. The potato pieces, in contrast, have not really been affected as much by the acid. Hydrochloric acid doesn't break down carbohydrates, the main nutrient found in potatoes. Other chemicals do. The hydrochloric acid in our stomachs is reasonably concentrated. But if it can digest meat, why doesn't it digest the stomach itself? Well, it doesn't because the inside of the stomach continuously produces a layer of mucus, which is a little like the snot in our noses. The slimy stuff you're looking at here is a mixture of corn syrup, gelatin and green food dye. And it's similar to the mucus in our stomach, although stomach mucus is more kind of off-white, not green. The acid doesn't react with the mucus and so the stomach is protected. This is an actual stomach, a sheep stomach in fact, that's very similar to a human stomach. I got it from a butcher. The food enters through a small valve called the lower esophageal sphincter, which then closes up. The stomach muscles churn up the food and mix it with the hydrochloric acid and the other chemicals. This helps break the food down. The gastric folds in the stomach allow chemicals and water to be secreted into and absorbed from the stomach more easily and they allow the stomach to expand. By the way, the massive hole we're looking through is not a feature of the stomach. It was cut by the butcher. I'm not sure why. Once the stomach has done its job, the stomach muscles squeeze the partially digested food into the small intestine through another valve called the pyloric sphincter, where the food that has been partially digested is digested further. However, the small intestine is not protected by any mucus. So why doesn't the hydrochloric acid burn away the small intestine? Well, it's thanks to the pancreas. The pancreas is a small organ that sits just behind the stomach. The pancreas produces sodium hydrogen carbonate, that is bicarb soda, and releases it into the small intestine through the pancreatic duct, as the food is squeezed into the small intestine by the stomach. The acid and the bicarb soda chemically react, and the acid is neutralized by the bicarb soda. It's basically the same as the famous chemical reaction between bicarb soda and vinegar. Vinegar is also an acid. The water, the sodium chloride and the carbon dioxide produced end up passing into our blood. We breathe the carbon dioxide out and the water and sodium chloride are used by the body for other things. The food that has already been partially digested in the stomach continues on its way down the small intestine and is digested further. Thanks for watching this short excerpt from Liakos Educational Media's program Shedding Light on Acids and Bases Episode 2, Acids and Carbonates. This series makes it easy for students to learn all the basics, pardon the pun, of acids and bases. Students will come away with a deep understanding of what acids and bases are, and they will learn about how much acids and bases affect their lives. Visit our website, links in the description below, to download the accompanying student activity sheet and in fact all of our student activity sheets, including a wide selection of pracs. Our website also has details about how you can watch the whole program and the whole series. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.